So, next is uh, based on as of now principles and uh, materials used in construction we have dealt and next comes to precast structure in insulation. So, installation is very very important as we told you already that is called as an erection process also we call it as placing. Uh, placing. So, what is that means the following steps to be taken into consideration for that the planning for precast installation, installation process and uh, installation of construction by using the construction management methodology, precast panels, precast failures we will be using. So, common defects if anything is observed means those also will be observed. Then precast installation in what way? Planning coordination it is very very important that a worker or a builder working together to achieve best performance we have to install it in a particular manner how it was given that is the thing. Then site access and storage, check for the site accessibility and precast panels delivered to sites especially low bed uh, uh, trailers are required. Uh, so, low bed trails we if is required for that. Uh, so, may as it has to be transported. So, if low bed means it is easy otherwise if it is this much height and then instrument panels are large panels it is uh, difficult to carry. So, we have to use by equipment modular terrain construction. Uh, modular construction equipments are there. So, we will be using those mobile equ mobile equipment also we call it as. Then check whether adequate space for temporary storage before installation ground conditions are firm ground are leveled or not that is also a main thing we have to consider whether levels are in equal condition or not. If it is not level then the, there is a damage of that panel whatever we have casted. So, then uneven ground level will cause overstress and cracks of panel. If crack is there, if edges cracks are there definitely it is not suitable for the framing ok. So, that is very very important. Then planning crane arrangement plan and a crane capacity and lifting gears based on heavy weight lifts very uh, working the radius etc. This all comes under consideration. Heavy wavy uh, stones are not required and level surfaces is not there. If undulated surfaces are there then there may be a damage of this panel. So, position of crane in related to fin uh, final location. <coughs> So, position of crane is very very important uh, which way it is being uh, transporting and all play uh, and then plan other equipments boom lifter, scissor lifter or uh, unhooking install panels, lifting gears, skilled persons as we already discussed about that skilled persons. Then uh, compo then uh, these all will be shown with the uh, figures for you these are competent crane operators uh, triggers and then uh, signaled uh, this all comes under the crane operating zone. So, through skilled persons only this will be under the concentration and then comes to the general concentration for crane selection total lifting method whether the pan the member is used to lift and place uh, the condition is there whether the member is used to lift and place or whether the member is used to lift for the uh, structure and these concentrations are there. So, crane model crane uh, with the safe uh, working load. So, based on that setting out based on 75 percent capacity built in uh, factor of safety that is 1.33 lifting capacity must be uh, of 1.5 times the total weight that is uh, definitely we have to use for 1.5 that is a general limiting state method what we are doing for the construction activity. Then comes to lifting and uh, swing radius. Uh, crane counter weight, crane boom length is related in relation to the vertical and horizontal clearance for the building, installation process, installation of working components, verification of delivered panels, check the panels delivered in correct time in the le leveling position or not in a lifting whether lifting hook is working or not, uh, it is able to place easily or not, uh, dimension wise reinforcement uh, provision is there or not, placing provision is there or not, jointing position is there or not, these all will be discussed here. Then comes to setting, ensure correct offset line, check uh, stream pad, uh, plate level and firm, Rub, uh, next comes to external wall considerations are being taken into consideration or not. So, that is very very important when we are going for setting out. So, control points are definitely you, uh, you have to choose and you have to use based on the control setting only uh, you will be using these all things. So, left way you are using, right way you are using and then which way the uh, uh, panel is being placed, uh, this is uh, suitable for this condition or not, this all will be taken into consideration. Then hoisting uh, and installation, while tilting prov provide rubber pad to avoid chip off, lift and rig the panel to designation designated location, adjust the panel in position and secure lift off uh, space adding items with the balanced center of gravity, ensure horizontal alignment correct that play uh, ensure panel vertically to collect correct plumber, check panel to panel gap consistency, check uh, stability of proper and 
before releasing a hoisting cable and all so we have to check grouting works prepare and apply non shrink mortars to seal gap and also keep installation undisturbed for 24 years so panels will not be disturbed for 24 years check out widths and uh, consistence before grouting so grouting before that you have to check whether it's consistent or not and check whether the cracks are there or not if you're there are there then we have to go for self compaction to prevent those all cracks and all then connection joints cast in suit do connect do connecting set up casting joints remove firms after sufficient uh, strength was achieved or not external connections are welding if anything is requirements by through welding we'll be doing Installation of horizontal elements will be there, such reference. So horizontal, whatever you are going for horizontal elements, just blindly go for reference line or offset line to require alignment for the slab or beam, then do the installation. Then go for the put temporary prop to support the paper slabs, bears, elements, etc. Then hoisting with true dimensions, check level, the stability and all protruding, uh, uh, protruding the steel charter bars within the tolerance obstruction, if any obstructions are there within that range it is there or not that you have to observe. Then specified during the erection process, this is placed at this position only, this is indirectly inside outside we should not place it whatever the dimension it is given and inside outside means that is the frame we have to keep it then hoisting installation put temporary props to support slab or beam lift and rig the elements of the designated location align and check the level for placement and then the beam shall pop at least two locations check level of precast element this is very very important thing this is a modular construction simple way of and uh, modular construction with reference to the basic standardization component here we'll be talking means the x and y direction so with this this is 1m 2m technology we'll be using here for industrial buildings modular means it's easy of transportation easy of construction time saving and all but that 1m 2m how we will be talking means one with 1m that is see here different types see here so how many members are there joints two more two joints are there here three joints are there here four joints are there this all will be comes under limited standard condition so solid you are taking for 1m uh, two joints solid or hollow you are taking for 2m two joints are likewise will be talking so one model is equal to 1m means 100 mm so these all considerations will be taken into consideration so we will be talking uh, mostly about the 1m up to this uh, height to width everything these are the standard dimensions so for industrial buildings one this is 15 m for spans up to 12 meter only and 30 m for spans up to 12 to 18 60 m over 18 meters so oh, this is very very important and our residential buildings 3 m is the thing so three model will be taking into consideration the planning module in a vertical shall be of this is about horizontal only for vertical it shall be of 1 m up to the including that is a height will be of 2.5 meters and therefore doors and windows etc considerations will be under 1 m only so in the case of interior columns the grid lines shall co co coincide with the center lines of the columns in case of external columns the grid line shall coincide with the center lines of the columns of a story or line to the column face interface of the story okay and in detail so this is the thing we learned about the thing of uh, how many connection grouting process and all so in the next session we will be learning about the new thing thank you